George Corps, Peter Fisher, Kyle Corps, and you're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Rock and Metal News album review of the new Cannibal Corpse. It's titled Red Before Black. It's going to be out through Metal Blade Records on November the 3rd. Cannibal Corpse, the band that's been around for almost 30 years. Yes, they are death metal veterans. They're about to unleash their 14th full length titled Red Before Black black the band have pushed themselves again and bassist alex webster stated throughout our career we've tried to improve the precision of both our musical execution and our album production while still maintaining full-on aggression and red before black continues in that direction but might even go further on the aggressive side of things the album was produced by eric rutten webster stated he understands death metal better than just about anyone both as a producer and as a musician and with his mana studios located not far from their home base in Florida. It was very convenient. And 2017 has had many new releases from Death Metal's top performers such as Suffocation, Obituary, Dying Fetus, and more. And if you liked any of those, you're going to love Red Before Black. It opens up with the track Only One Will Die. This song is fast as hell and aggressive. What a devastating opening track in all aspects. George sounds great. There's a halftime feel in the middle of the track that separates the beginning and ending insanity. And the track number two is Red Before Black, the title track. After opening with some heavy chords, a ruthless guitar and pounding drums take over. George screams out some quick vocal phrases. And I love Paul's fills and stutter beats. This track has some classic Cannibal Corpse shredding in it. Uh, the third track is called Code of the Slashers. And this is the first song that they released and one of my favorites on the album as well. It's very heavy and plotting, grinding start to the song. But as you hit the boat, the one minute mark, this song just goes crazy. The song ends with some heavy plotting, crunchy chords again. And it's nicely topped off at the end with George stating, we'll end your fucking life. How can you end the song better than that one? Just a crazy, amazing song. Uh, another song out there that's great on this one is called Firestorm Vengeance. Love the guitar sounds that they start this track out with. It's like you're in a firestorm. It is. Uh, just sounds like that. A ruthless flaming fire. This track stands out with some cool off-tempo riffs and some Slayer type grooves in it. 154N is just a perfect live circle pit experience. I'm sure if they play that one live there's another track called heads shoveled off that's track number seven with a title like that how could i not mention this song it's crunchy groovy blast beats definite headbanger george belts out the lyrics like a rabid animal in this one this song brings you through many different types of feels and the the last song i'd like to touch on is one called destroyed without a trace it's fast and explosive this one would be a live gem for sure george belts out some quick lyrics and uh paul's just in and out of the blast beats in this one some eerie shredding on this track it's just it uh there's a bunch of you know parts in this song where they just shred and it's just got this really interesting eerie feeling to all of the solos in this one uh, i just uh, love this album i think i lost about five pounds just listening to it uh it's great Jet, damn it just buy this one you will not be disappointed with the new cannibal corpse red before black out november the third pick it up this is ron from youtube's rock and metal news thanks for tuning in